bolts first. There are just six bolts. It should. Hmm. Okay, this motor does not work. Let's see if we can fix it. Let's get a picture of this before this sticker disappears. All right, 36 volts, 4.15 horsepower, 2300 RPMs. Say it again. What are RPMs? Revolutions per minute. So it'll oh. spin 2300 times every minute. So I put some electricity into this motor and it did not spin. But some electricity was going through because on my little power supply there, it said like two amps, which means it's probably getting electricity through the coils that don't move, but no electricity through the brushes to the spinner part. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, the spinner part's called the rotor and this the not spinning part is called the stator. Is that right? I think that's what it is. doesn't matter though. Just need to make them work. It's basically two opposing electromagnets. That's all it really is. So this thing has four brushes, carbon blocks. The electricity goes through that into that part down there. So we're just going to check that all of these move and are loose enough. Yeah, that one's got good contact. They should be, they're, they're spring loaded. So they're, they're pressed against the moving part with a spring. And if I can like pull it back against the spring and it, go, it moves back easily and it stays pressed against the thing, it's probably okay. I do. Yeah, if I lift the spring, is that good? Yeah. yeah. Well, those all look fine. Hmm, I'm gonna have to start chasing the electricity to see where it's getting to and where it's not. Well, I could check this cable here. Maybe. <laughs> that would be super lucky if this cable had some kind of stupid issue. It's probably something inside. All right, let's take off this cable. And we'll, I don't know, we'll just double check it. Wait, make sure you don't lose that nut. Keep it right here. And take off this little washer. You don't need to do it, you can do it with your hand, yeah. And get the cable off. You guys have to be really careful doing this stuff. You don't want to lose these. These are brass. They wouldn't be easy to replace. Okay, we got some little labels here. We have four contacts. We just had the wire going across here. So this says S1, S2. So I think those are for the stator, which is the part that doesn't rotate, the electromagnet that just is in the housing. And then a1, A2, I guess that's armature, is that what it is? Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the electricity that goes into the brushes, which would make sense. It's on the piece where the brushes connect. So this goes into the brushes. So if we check the resistance across here, electricity should be able to flow pretty easily. And if we check it across here, electricity should be able to flow easily. Presuming, you know, this is just connected to the electromagnet and back. And this one goes through the, uh, the brushes to its a, the turning electromagnet and comes to here, right? So if we check across here and across here, they should both have very low resistance, like electricity should be able to flow through them. We can use our little tester for that. Okay. Yeah, too bad the screen isn't brighter, the camera might not be able to see it. Whatever, okay, let's check the resistance. Right now it's giving like a one and not really any numbers because it's like sort of like an error like the res resistance is higher than it's measuring right now so connect one to here and one there and it sh the resistance should go way down to like okay, you connect that one okay so the resistance went down to like like did I stop moving it yet yeah. yeah it's like basically zero okay now check the other one Okay, well that one's going down too. So that one, that one has a little bit more resistance than the other one, but that could be where you're holding the thing. Anyway, I'll push it, push the point right in and make sure you get good contact. Yeah. Now just 
try to keep it steady. And it takes a second for the number to show up here. Yeah, it's like, all right. So electricity is getting through here and through there. So what is the problem? I wonder if maybe my power supply just doesn't have enough electricity to turn this motor even a little bit. So maybe I need to connect it to the house power for a second. I think it's, well, that, the house power is 24 volts. So, I mean, it's not gonna turn this at four and a half or 4.15 horsepower, because it's 36 volts. But with a lower voltage, it'll still be like two horsepower or so. So I'll just wanna touch it for a second. I don't need a two horsepower motor going crazy in my house. I have to hold it real steady. All right, let's go, go touch it to the house power and see if that turns it on. You wanna screw that back on? Although, you know what? Whenever I take something off and put it back, I like to clean it first, so let's get off a bit of this corrosion. So it'll have better contact. Okay, so it's shiny now. So that'll touch that shiny part and the electricity will go through easy. So you wanna get this part, because this part touches there, right? So you want the part that's touching. You know, I'd rather not connect this to the house power. I'd rather go out and connect it to one of the boats. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, screw that wire on there. The way this kind of motor works is you put the electricity in and this goes across the brushes which, which gets the electricity into the middle part, the, the spinning part. Electricity comes out here, goes through here into this part which makes the electricity go into the, the housing electromagnet and then comes out here. Doo -doo -doo. So with this wire here, the electricity goes through both things and energizes everything. All right, this thing should have some electricity up here. Let me just move my foot. This? Or is it this? Oh, great. Come on, what? Ah, it's spinning all. What is wrong with this? It definitely has electricity. It's making some sparks. Hmm, what is wrong with this motor? All right, electricity's flowing through everything. Because it's getting all the way through. You know that because it's sparking. We're just getting no spinning. All right, we're taking this whole thing apart. All right, first just take all the wires off. And then we'll... Yeah, find whatever in here fits this. And that, pull those out. When it starts not ratcheting, just go all the way around. Go all the way around. Okay. You can ratchet in. Okay, see, when you go this way, it's not making the click sound. Because look, it's turning it because there's not enough resistance to make it do the thing. So it's probably so loose that you can just pull it out. Yep. Right, keep that with those things. Okay, get this one. And it gets really loose. Yeah. Hello, we might need to go make lunch because it's 1.30. The brush is all fine. Are they mad yet? This one, this one I broke a few years ago. I actually made a video about replacing it. No, they're not magnets, they're they're graphite, like, you know, like what's in a pencil? Yeah. It's like a big block of pencil lead, basically. More or less. Not exactly. And when I put these back together, I put some Vaseline to see if they would <laughs> be more, uh, you know, if it would lubricate them. But 
I think you really just want them dry. I ended up wiping out the last one. Anyway, those seem to be fine. Bearing in there looks good. This uh, part where those touch, it's a little dirty, but looks fine. All right, let's go have some lunch before your brother and sister go crazy. You just want to work on this, don't you? This thing all looks good. I cleaned off this a little. Bearing seems good. I don't see any broken wires in here or anything. These wires are huge, though. I don't think they'd have a problem. This looks just like it's all right. I have to double check, make sure everything's still connected, but it looks good. Can still move. And this guy here looks good too. I'm going to double check all the connections, make sure the electricity is going right through out to this one. But I already checked that, so it should be fine. I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is just clean everything really well. All that and all that. And put it all back together. And maybe while I'm cleaning it, I'll notice something and... Uh, you know, put a bit of oil on things to make sure it doesn't rust or anything. So yeah, clean it, oil it, put it back together, see if I noticed anything. Uh, honestly, a lot of times when I do things like this and I'm trying to repair something, like probably like three quarters of the time, I take something apart, I clean it, put it back together, and then it just works. Like, And I'm not even sure what I did. So yeah. Yeah, huh. maybe it's trying to, it doesn't have enough. Yeah, mess with your wires. Let me see that. I am going to do something. You guys are only going to want to back up for this. Too long on this thing. Yeah, I still got three lights. Didn't use up too much energy. It was only a few seconds, but yeah, I think that is the lumber mill motor. Uh -huh. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet. Uh, I don't want to plug it into the drill battery for very long. Uh, tomorrow, though, we can take it back out to the boat and plug it in over there. And do a real test. But I'm convinced it works. It just went for, you know, a second, but. Everything looked like it was doing the right thing. Yeah. Just needed some cleaning. Yeah.